Rise and grind people. Yes, we are doing a day in the life of somebody attempting the 75 hard challenge. Today is day 60 and I've just woken up from me and the brewski. And I'm gonna show you guys what it's like to do this 75 hard challenge from the moment I wake up now to the moment I go to sleep later. Let's get after it team. First stop, hydration. I've got to drink 3.5 liters of water every single day. And so let's get some electrolytes in me. So this has all the electrolytes in it and it's a little bit salty, but I kind of like the taste now. Anyways, I get this down me. And like I said, I've got three and a half liters of water to get through today and you'll see how I managed to do that. But yes, cheers. To those of you that are unaware, I'm taking part in the 75 hard challenge. This is a challenge that lasts 75 days and the rules are as follows. Two 45 minute exercises, one must be outdoors. I have to drink around 3.5 liters of water every single day. I have to read 10 pages of a book strictly no alcohol all 75 days and i also have to stick to my diet no cheat meals it's time for some breakfast and i've been eating peanut butter on toast <laughs> look how fucked this toaster is yeah let me just turn this off at the wall before i electrocute myself but look at look at this is how i have to get my toast out and it's pretty, I mean, that, I mean that's, that's crispy, but tell me that don't look good. I use a chopstick to get it out. Hey man, times are tough and I'm doing it one-handed. Respect me. A little bit of this. As some of you guys may or may not know, the way this works is that I have to do two 45 minute exercises today and uh, one has to be outdoor, that's the rules. So I'm getting my non-outdoor one done this morning before we head into the office and it's just gonna be a gym session. I think we're gonna go a little chest day today. So uh, a pretty good day to tag along for the day in the life. Let's go. This guy is not serious. Are you doing 75 hard today, sir? No, because you're lazy and you just sunbathe every day, every morning. You guys may have seen from my Instagram stories or you know, just throughout these videos, I constantly reference my Whoop band. Now this video is sponsored by Whoop, but I wanna make it very clear that I was actually using this product before I reached out to them to make this series about 75 hard together. The Whoop band is a fitness wearable that allows you to track all sorts of things. Some of the main bits are your sleep, your recovery and your strain. Now, if you're into your fitness or you wanna get into your fitness, this thing is a massive, massive tool to help you be successful in whatever you're trying to achieve. It allows me to make small changes throughout my day and see how that affects me because it is just super, super granule. And I love that. If fitness is something that you want to take seriously, then a whoop band for me at least would be a massive, massive part of that. If this is something that you are interested in, you can try it for free for the first month. You just use my link down below. Grab yourself one. Like I said, that's completely free up to 30 days. If you don't like it with in the 30 days, send it back and cool, that's fine. You gave it a go, you didn't like it, whatever. But I'm pretty confident you guys will like it and you'll probably end up using it for the year or whatever. Whatever your challenges might be, a Whoop band is definitely gonna help you get there. So what I usually do is while I'm eating, I'll go through the Whoop app and just see what my recovery said, see what sort of recommendations it's gonna give me in terms of training and like levels of how intense things uh, can be or need to be. But obviously I'm filming on my phone right now, so I can't look at the app, but I did look at the app just a second ago and I think I had something like 92% recovery, which is amazing. I had a really, really good sleep last night. And yeah, that just, that makes my life so much easier. I got a long sleep as well. I, I definitely slept in a little bit. So we're running a bit behind schedule today, but that's gonna be all right. Yeah, that recovery score is super important. I've been using the Whoop app pretty much throughout the entire 75 hard. It's just super helpful. And I've actually turned it into a bit of a game to see how I can like optimize literally every part of this challenge. 90% recovery, I should be able to go pretty ham today. Actually, I'm gonna be honest with you, I haven't had 92% in a little while, so. Today's gonna be a good day. Right, so that's the gym done, dusted. It's now time to get 
more water in me. How very exciting. But yeah, I essentially put a bit of this in the morning. It's got a bit of caffeine in it. It's got literally everything I need in the morning. If you want to see the ingredients list, that's backward for you. So you can pause that and treat it like some sort of Da Vinci code. I don't know. Anyways, right, let me let me stop this up and then we're going to head into the office. We've got meetings, we've got a podcast, we've got a bunch of stuff to get done today. And uh, yeah, that's just the, the 75 hard. You've got to fit everything in in a day. Also, a cod liver oil. Got to take one of these. Sort of like, hmm. And then the other thing I take, these things, cordyceps. Now, Hello. Uh, these are supposed to help with cardiovascular stuff with a lot of running going on. I figured why not? So we'll get those two in. I've made a mess. I have made a mess. By the way, just want everybody to know I don't get paid to promote any of this. I just did some research online. All right, we're cooking. Yeah. Now, we've got to take the rat. Who wants to see the rat? Do you want to go on a walk? Do you want to go on a walk? Should we go on a walk? <gasps> you want to go on a walk? Do you want to go on a walk? Ah, ah. Oh, God damn. Yeah, all right. Anyways, we're gonna walk to the office now. Technically, now technically that would be my second 45 minute workout, but I only ever count a walk, a walk as a workout if I really fucked for anything else. If I, if I can find the time to go for a run, I'll always go for the run as well. But there are some days where it's just not possible. And according to the rules, according to everything, a 45 minute outdoor walk counts. So something to keep in mind. But today, fingers crossed, everything goes to plan and there's no emergencies and there's no crazy shit going on. And it means that we can go on our run later, which will be lovely. Right, come on Finn, we're going for a walk. So, here we go. Pretty good day for a walk, to be fair. At least it's not raining like it has been the last little while. Coming up to the end of my 45 minute walk, I'm almost finished that bottle of water that we made at the beginning. So we've got this, I'm gonna head into the office. I'll show you guys a little bit of what a day in the life at the fellas studios is as well. Some people are always interested in seeing the businessy side, I guess. Finn's buzzing. Absolutely chuffed with his walk. Weather like this, see if it's cold and raining, we wouldn't have made it this far. I'd be carrying him. Jeez, we're on the set. It's a day in the life. Proddy. <coughs> Big episode. Big episode, who's on it? Rafa. Whoa! Bro, don't spoil Rafa. it. Hey, Macarena. Hi. We are filming a podcast. Today's a very serious one, which is a rare fella's W. And we're obviously we're waiting on Chip. This is where he usually sits right here, but typical, he's not here on time. And uh, yeah, I'm excited we're doing this. Look, look, what did I say? We're almost at the bottom of this water right here. Once this is done, we then only really have about 1.75 left to go. So one more of these and a little bit more, and that'll easily get crushed through the day. So I'm excited, I feel, I feel alert, I feel ready. My podcasting abilities have gone through the roof. Oh God, oh, here he is. Brother's <gasps> Bro's recording himself. Bro's using an iPhone, look at this guy. I think he's fucking Ryan Train. What's up? This for a little whoop, this one that. Nah, bro, this is a little up. 75 update. Yeah, it's day 60 today. Me and Chip are the only ones doing it. Fucking slackers, bro, they all quit on day 10. I just want everybody to know that we are better than them. We are. I we... felt the second they quit, I knew I was better. Yeah. I knew I was different gravy. I love how, that. How bro. are you not even gonna make it past day 10, you know? That's crazy. That's We've childish. fitness-based guys in here. Yeah. Like, just... <laughs> Leo, where you at? Reed, where you at? Oh, God. So, we are cooking up. Oh, you're eating healthy. He, he, you know what? G Film is also doing 75 hard. Just about. Just about, hang it on, hang it on. But we are currently organizing the like sort of final run that we're gonna be doing. And all the details of that are posted in my Whoop community chat because I kind of want it to be a small thing that anybody that's sort of really into their fitness and, and has been joined me on this journey, not necessarily doing 75 hard, but at least supporting me in that group chat can come and join us on. So yeah, there's gonna be a, a 10K run in London on the 12th of November, but I'm gonna put all the location and timings in the chat closer to the time. So if that is of interest, then uh, yeah, you're gonna need to join my Whoop group to find out more about that. Time for the one and only. 
from your brand deals, eh? You never catch me handing out them. <whistles> Just enjoy the Nando's. We're talking important stuff here. You should be bored. <laughs> We're talking season four for the fellas. By the way, somebody in the office broke that mirror and they are in a world of trouble. How long, how many bad years? Seven years, bad sex. Bad sex? Yeah, I just yeah, thought it was bad luck. No, that's it. But yeah, we are discussing season four ideas for the fellas. Probably give me one good idea for season four. We get Stephen Graham on the pod. Whoa. Who let him cook, man? <laughs> Who let him cook? What is going on there, bro? They're I'm squaring also, up to each I'm other. I'm gonna call my dog Rasmus after Rasmus Hoyland. Also, we should have Rasmus Hoyland on the pod. Does he speak English? Respect my Look, language. as you can see, the meetings are very Step good. Um, but yes, it's time to head home. Another 45 minute walk. And then we're going on a run with the fitness YouTube <laughs> goat. <laughs> Yo, is it wrong to grab a dog's ass? <laughs> What'd you do? Is it wrong to grab a dog's ass? Home time, depressing, it's already dark outside. That is just shit. We're gonna be going on a run. We've still got to get through the rest of our water as well and read our books, read our pages. So yeah, I'm actually looking forward to the run. It's something to do in the evening. I get quite bored. No football on either. It's time to get all the water down, mate. And a very generous offer from Harold Bog. He came through and dropped me some extra water. Now this is proper Tory water, so I'm very excited. 800 mil, so I reckon two more of these and we will be done. And as you can see, we are almost done here. I'm gonna try and get this down me before we head to our run with Reed. So wristband, bicep band. We're gonna run with the bicep band. This is me attempting to switch it over. Now, it's actually a really simple process. I've just managed to make a massive mess of this. But yeah, it just comes out pretty easily. You slot it back into the slightly bigger one. Here we go, get it on the big okay, muscles. Ready, steady, hook. Jacked out of his mind. Da, da. Outfit check, outfit check, outfit check. Finn, what's your verdict? Yeah, oh, the tail stopped wagging. Maybe it's not so good. Anyways. Let's get after it. Look Yo. at him, he's ready. Look, we are got. Look at them twinkle toes go. Wait, do we have the same shoes? Uh, no, I've got hookers on. Stay away from me. Oh, you're an Aki man. Well, no, hey, hey, I can be bought. I can be bought, I can be purchased. So we are doing, this is my second 45 minute workout of the day. Look, technically, I've done three already. Two 45 minute walks and a gym session, but I had something like 92% recovery today, so we can get after it. Yeah. And so we're gonna go on a run. Now you're training for some stuff at the moment. Are you, are you yeah, saying what you're a training few, for? A few events on the horizon, High Rocks, Ultra Marathon next year. So get the miles up in the legs, that sort of thing. Exactly, and yeah. now all the fitness nerds out there, you'll know what he's talking about. To anyone that's not a fitness nerd, don't worry, he's just doing some psychotic stuff. <laughs> but us, we're about to go on this run. Got the whoop band on underneath the t-shirt. And- uh, oh, you got the bicep one on today. Yeah, I got the bicep one on oh. today. Oh, come on, Risty. Uh, the ri you love Risty's, don't you? All right, come on. Let's get on this run. Let's get going. Less waffle, more running. Yeah. All right, we're three and a half K in here. Woo! We're going strong. It's a relatively nice pace. I tell you what, running in the evenings yeah, it's so good. is the best. Yeah. yeah. Winter time. Bellissimo. Bellissimo. Feeling good, feeling more fit. Over the 75, your running's improved so much. Yeah, I mean, I wanted to become better at running. I've got an incredible goal that I want to achieve in May next year that I'll share with you guys. Probably in the main video on my channel, but I still hate running, by the way. Don't get it, don't get it fucked up. Yeah, everybody does. You just do more of it. And I tell you what, I've been to a couple of run club sessions and they're a great way to meet people if you feel lonely in a big city, I think. What do you think, Reeve? I would agree with that. But thankfully, I have friends like Kyle there. I can run with just on my own. Wow, how wholesome. Yeah. All right, anyways, enough waffle. We've probably got at least another 3K to go. Let's get after it. Whoa! Happy Halloween, y'all. Reeve, come back. Come back. Wrapped it up there, Reeves. Yeah, buddy. So we managed to do just shy of 7K. Yeah, 6.8. We'll take that. It's good. Like I said today, my recovery was mwah, slept like a baby. Really easy run, to be honest. It was, yeah. like, it was comfortable. Nice little chat, caught up. Top did business. Nah, yeah. I didn't really top business. What did we talk about? We talked about how Arsenal are going to bottle the league. Anyways, exactly. look, it's now time. We're going to head back. I still got quite a few things to do. I've still got to get the water down me. Still got to read my pages. And more importantly, I need to fuel up. I need to eat a lot. I'm 
I'm starving and I've left it all a little bit later than I'd like to have done. But what can you do? That's fitness, isn't it? Yeah, basically, you just eat until you can't. Yeah, thanks, Reeve. That was, that was really helpful. So we are currently scrounging our third meal of the day, and today it is a chicken and rice. A bit of vegetables in there. It's not very exciting, but it does the job. Respect chicken and rice. Um, what time is it now? It's 20 to 10. Usually, I go to bed around midnight, maybe just before midnight, but I'd love to get that to about 10.30. But the problem is I don't usually leave the office till about six, meaning it doesn't leave me much time to do everything else that I want to get done. We move. I still have a little bit more water to finish off, so. This right here, this is what I'm reading at the moment. It is pretty heavy in terms of, it's not like a fun story or anything like that. It's just intense, but I did watch him on Joe Rogan and I thought he was sick. So this was given to me as a gift. So I thought I'd give this a read and it is very, very scary. And I should probably go and sleep because otherwise I'll die. That's pretty much what he says. That is essentially my day in the life. Now, it was a little bit squeaky at the end, I'll be honest. Times were very tight and it, it really is just a thing I need to get better at is getting things done earlier in the day, waking up earlier. That is what I need to do. I'm aware of that. Um, but throughout this entire challenge, it's something that I just haven't managed to master and it's something I'm working towards. Again, if you do want to grab yourself a whoop, then of course the link will be down in the description below. And if you are interested in joining me on my finale run, which is going to be happening very soon, then there'll be information in the whoop group chat there so when you order one you'll be able to join my whoop group using the code in the description once you've done that all the info is in there so you guys can uh, can come along it's going to be good fun and uh, hopefully i can uh, enjoy that 10k run with you guys see you all next time